Greetings YouTube, Sai is here with another video. Today I will show you how I was able to stream PS5 games through my PC without a capture card and have amazing features like stream dashboard, interactive content, audience engagement tools, live streaming production tools and much more. Well, the PS5 stream only has show and hide webcam, not many cam settings, show and hide chat, no scenes in transitions, no nothing, which may result in a low quality stream and a very non-professional stream whatsoever. It must be very frustrating for you to get all the expensive PS5 games, PS5 webcam, an additional controller and all that only to find out you can't really engage with your viewers very well by using only the built-in PS5 streaming features. And even starting a stream is a tremendous task because you have to type all the details letter by letter with the virtual keyboard on screen. Ouch! Also, there is no way you can warm up your audience before you start with a starting soon scene or end the stream the proper way with an ending scene and thank your viewers, display something cool or in case you want to use the bathroom or just pause the stream for any, any other reason, uh, they will get that boring stream paused stream. In short, PS5 streaming features suck. And they suck badly, Sony. They do. And they don't even let you stream to more than one platform at once, in case you wanna do that. Oh my! So, to keep your stream cool and professional, even on PS5, even without having to buy an expensive capture card, all you need, surprise surprise, you most probably already have. Now let's see how that works. First, go to the link in the description below to download Streamlabs. Why from my link, you may ask? Streamlabs is free, but if you want to make your passion a profession, it may require some small investment to use its ultra features. And if you use my link, your investment will be even smaller with the top discount my link will provide you with. Now, can embrace your full potential and make it shine in front of others for less and thank me later. Second, PS5 Remote Play. I'll put a link to that in the description below. Click the link, download Remote Play and install it. Also make sure to turn on Remote Play on your PS5 console. Now. There are many ways to continue this. You can either do it with your own PSN account and controller or a second controller and a PSN account. Why? In case you feel lag when you play with your account, just create a second account to use that second account to connect to your PS5 with remote play. But control and play on the PS5 with your own original account and controller once connected. This way your controller and account are directly connected to your PS5. There will be no lag and you can play as usual on your gaming TV or monitor. And control the stream dashboard with your PC's mouse and keyboard and your PC monitor. So, a second PlayStation Network account to log in to your PS5 with remote play a second PS5 DualSense controller, which you most probably already have for when you play games with your friends or family or for when you have longer sessions and put your first controller to charge and switch to your second one. 
Now, this is not required, but in case you want to play with a controller which is connected to your PS5 instead of your PC, use one. Third, your PS5 and PC have to be connected to the same local area network or LAN via a switch or directly to your router. Now, I tried this through Wi-Fi and it did not work well. I tell you, remote play was disconnecting and it is not a pleasant experience. So use those network cables which usually come together with your router and connect your PC and PS5 to it right now. Four, your headphones with microphone or a separate microphone, if you will, connected to your PC. If you want to hear things on PS5, connect your headphones to your PS5 and the microphone to the PC. If you don't have lag, which you should not, if your PC and PS5 are on, on the same LAN, connect your headphones and mic to your PC. The thing you need is your webcam. If you have a PS5 webcam, I will show you how to use it on your PC. It is as easy as just installing a driver to which I will put the link in the description below as well. Now that we have all we need, what you need to do is start the PS Remote Play and log in. Start Streamlabs and add a window, window capture to your scene to capture Remote Play. Plug in your PS5 DualSense controller to your PC via USB. Now connect to your PS5 from your PC through Remote Play. Then turn on your original DualSense controller which is connected to your PS5 and take control of it. Now this weird text which says Remote Play connected will display on top. But don't worry about it, let's make it disappear real quick. Simply navigate to PS5 settings, system and then language. Change the language, apply settings and this text will be gone for good. You might have to do this every time but there's an easy fix, feel free to use it. Then get back to Streamlabs on your PC and do what you do best. Go live and play with your favorite game and engage with your audience. You can also do this not only from a Windows PC but also from a Mac or a mobile device if you will. Yeah, Streamlabs is also available for mobile and PS Remote Play is as well. So use my link today to get the most out of it with the amazing discount on Ultra Features. If you talk like me that you are going to stream from the PS5 directly and got yourself a PS5 webcam, here's a solution to that problem as well. You don't need to spend more money on cool webcams which would work with your PC. PS5 webcam can work with your PC. You can use the PS5 webcam with the firmware and driver from the link in the description below. Nothing to worry about, the link is from GitHub and the files are clean. I personally use them without any problem. Just follow the instructions like so. Download it, extract it, install the driver and run the firmware loader and voila the usb camera ov580 will show up and now you can use your 1080p 30fps ps5 webcam to stream from your pc with streamlabs obs or other streaming software you're comfortable with 
really. I personally prefer Streamlabs for its features and that's why I was mentioning this previously. The only thing you may want to do is set exposure to auto on your PS5 cam. You go to NVIDIA Broadcast or however you control your webcam and set it and apply it. Simply put, start Streamlabs and remote play on your PC, display them on your PC monitor, start your PS5 which is connected to your gaming TV or monitor and hit that go live button on Streamlabs on your PC. Now really, you can do what you do best on a totally different level. Play your favorite games with your fans. I would like to thank you for watching. If you like this video, make sure to show it to, the, to YouTube by clicking that like button. Share it to your PS5 friends. If you want to see more such amazing content from me on my channel, feel free to also subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on what I will be doing this very method. I will be using this method to stream live Diablo 4 and maybe other PS5 games. Should you have any questions about all this, make sure to ask them in the comment section below and I will reply to you as soon as I can. Don't forget to check my main sponsor which allows me to do all the sublime revenue. Details about them in the description below. See you on my or your next live stream or video. Take care.